Almost a year ago, I made a video covering what happened to the Thrift Shop VHS ARG. If you want to see the full scope of what happened within it, you can check the description below. But if not, here's a summary. A re-upload of a now-deleted video that supposedly came from a Thrift Shop VHS tape was put on YouTube, and while it gained over 100k views, people on the Tourism forum found out that there was an underlying game going on with it. And after some clue solving, it led to two things. 11 more tracks from an ironically named archive channel from the creator, and a Tumblr post saying that the music is free to be used, just don't claim it as your own or monetize it. After that, everything was terminated, and it looked like it was the end. It seemed that all was said and done, and everyone moved on. Or so I thought. I ended up checking my Gmail yesterday as of writing the script out of boredom to see if anything happened on it, only to get a special comment from someone named Genesis, who not only left a cryptic comment on my video, but on any other video that covered the thrift shop anomaly. What seemed like the end of the entire ARG was actually a second coming of it, so with that, here's the update on the Thrift Shop VHS ARG. On March 13th, the ARG creator left a comment that reads, Rip, flip, pitch, pull. A journey down the rabbit hole. When going onto this person's channel, their about page leaves us with a Flickr link, and that link then leads us to this image. This image shows a blackened silhouette head in front of the album cover to Music Has the Right to Children by Boards of Canada, along with some numbers in the top right and a QR code at the bottom. The description of this image shows a A1Z26 cipher, which involves translating numbers to letters. With this in mind, the message reads out as Rabbit Hole, along with the nickname of the ARG creator, which is Random Stranger 1969. While I know that is their go-to handle from people invested in the ARG, for consistency's sake and to make things easier, for now we'll just refer to them as Genesis. As of now, the QR code leads to a dead link, but when my friend Magic scanned it during the ARG's hunt, it led to a Tumblr link. The Tumblr had only one post that existed three days before the ARG was rebooted, and featured a similar image to the one on the Flickr. Outside of that came a SoundCloud link that Magic ended up finding too. The upload on this site would feature an audio file named Incoming. When playing it, this is what we heard. Within this tune is a Morse code signal, and when translating it, it turns out to read, Channel 1. Now sadly, I didn't look into much of this part of the ARG, and accidentally missed out on archiving a video from within the search, so that's an oops on my part. From the screens my friend got, they released a video called Rip Flip Pitch, with the text translating to youtube.com slash at underscore hyphen. Within the video, apparently there was a message that was another cipher that translates to A dash will go in between channel and B, thus leading us to channel B. Now this channel has the most content of the bunch, and was the trickiest part of the ARG in my opinion. And I say that because when it came to the next clue, the channel's description read, fill in the blanks. And on it showed us five videos, which translate to stack. And the descriptions read, stack layers, play backwards, pitch minus 12. What this means is that it wants us to convert the videos into audio files and tweak them in audacity to figure out what is going on. And this is what we heard.
If you heard it correctly, the audio says, Sure Fred in ML2KM. Now, what does this mean? Well, my friend Magic figured out it leads to another channel that has a message on its about page showcasing a large amount of numbers. What this all meant is that it gives the investigators a couple of equations for them to solve. I won't bother reading them out, so instead, I'll show them on screen. On this channel was a video called Reveal. The video itself showcases some numbers and other random stuff throughout its duration. The numbers within it translate to Random Stranger. In the description, it features another A1Z26 cipher, along with some binary that both read a four-digit number, 9 times 857, and with that, it equals 7,713. Add all that together, and we get the channel name Random Stranger 7713. After inputting this into the URL, we hit the mother load. An entirely new album from the ARG creator called Random Tunes on a new channel. 45 sweet minutes of new tunes from this mysterious content creator. Of course, just like their first ARG, everything was prone to be removed within a certain amount of time. But luckily, almost everything, as well as the content on this last channel, including the music, has been archived. If you want to listen to the music, you can find the album in the description. With this being the second time it's happened, I imagine we'll see more ARGs from the random stranger in the future. Thank you all for watching. I'd like to thank Magic for being the brains of this operation, and as usual, I'd like to thank my friend E.T. for voicing all my videos. While I did try pulling my own weight, some of the stuff was hard for me. Magic really helped figure everything out through and through, so please give her a follow. I know this is a very niche ARG as well, so not many people are going to know about it, but it's an ARG that I believe deserves to be archived and recorded in some capacity. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and have a good one.